and then you can just lay it on your lash line and almost like you're making dashes. Not almost like you are making dashes. You're just connecting them. And then I'm going to go a little further in. This time. You can use the tip in to draw when it um, skips. And it actually is a pen, so I'll knock some of that down. For some reason, it always looks a little better on that side. And I think it's because I'm right-handed. When you're working on this side versus that side where you can pull it, it just pulls a little nicer and more taut. That's why I think it looks so much better when you're going to the opposite side. You would think it'd be the opposite of that because it's like, well, but it's my right hand, so it'll probably be easier. It isn't. It's actually harder. But because that's the hand that's, for most people, unless you're left-handed or ambidextrous, more coordinated, then that's the only hand you really can use for steadiness. My little eye right there is so sore, and it's because I have just been, my eyes, allergies have just been really bothering me lately. My eyes have just been really, like, annoying me. Okay, I feel like I have a little something in my eye. I do, I see it. So I can just tap my finger right up and got it, get it, got it. Also, there's some fallout. So what are you gonna use? But a dual fiber, dual fiber brush, like that, meaning it's dense on the bottom and light on the top. And that's the way you flick stuff off the face. I see a little bit of fallout here. And it's usually on either side of your nose, right here in the crux of your nose. And under your eyes. That's all I see. I don't see any on my cheeks. Also, see these wrinkles right here? Rub past them. Right, stick your tongue. And get that makeup out of there because that will set in there and it'll just make you look so... Yeah. Um, I also feel like this is too light looking. I'm going to dust some of that down a little. Same thing for my nose. It's too light. And there's too light. It's too light. Yeah. That's one way when you overdo it, just get a clean brush and just go over it and dissipate it out a little bit. Blend it out a little bit. Okay. So we've got blush contour. I did one color. Uh, I've got liner. So what do we need? It's here. Oh, wait. i got to do underneath my eyes. And I've been using the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stilo Anti-Fatigue Corrective Pen. And I do like it. Okay, so it's a pump pen with your, like a fountain pen is. Not a fountain pen, but you know, pump pen. And that lets some of it out. It needs more. There we go. This has got an orange tone to it. So what does that do? It cancels blue. So you don't go past this area. You stay in it. It's not a highlighter. It's a correcting pen. You're just trying to get rid of the dark look, and that's what the orange does. It's a peachy orange color. I don't know if y'all can tell that by looking. I'm having to, I'm dangerously close to my eye makeup. I should have done this right before. There. Now, because the whole point of the fact that you're putting this on isn't to highlight but to camouflage, then um, what you want to do is dot this. This is a, I mean, you can smooth it a little. Let's all smooth it a little bit just to get it where I want it. Right there. But then I'm um, just blend out the edge. But then I'm just going to dot it. And all you're doing when you dot it is taking some back off. And that's as much as you're going to do to blend it. I'm going to even use a different finger now and just do the same thing, like I'm blotting it. Okay. And that's the difference. So, 
let's do one more where we just go right through, right up the nose a little, back down, all the way up.